an operating system consists of two parts, the kernel space and the user space. Without that, protection and permissions between processes will be impossible. There are two different concepts of kernel, monolithic kernel and micro kernel. <laughs> Uh, the mon monolithic kernel um, uh, is a single large process running entirely in a single address space. All kernel services exist and execute in the same address space. The kernel can invoke functions directly. The advantage of monolithic kernel are less code, faster access, and because there is less code, there are fewer books. Uh, the disadvantages of monolithic kernel are uh, the size increase, lack, lack of extensibility, and bad maintainability. Uh, some examples of monolithic kernel are Linux and Unix. The microkernel. The kernel is broken down into separate processes, known commonly as servers. Some of these ones run in kernel space and some others run in user space. All servers are kept separate and run in different address spaces. The servers communicate through inter-process communication, so the invoking of services are made from each other by sending messages. The advantages of this approach is that if one server fails, the others continue with their work, thanks to the separation made by this kernel. That, uh, the disadvantages of the microkernel micro are a slower access, more code to maintain the servers, and the process of communication is more complex. Uh, some of the examples of the microkernel approach are the Mac OS X and the wi Windows NT. The hybrid kernel combines the monolithic and microkernel functionalities in one. This kernel approach combines the speed and simpler design of monolithic kernel with the modularity and execution safety of the microkernel.